Hello, I am Dr. Valentin Nemkov, Director of Research and Development of Fluxtrol Incorporated. I have worked all my life in the field of induction heating. It's almost 50 years of experience, and I continue to be enthusiastic about this wonderful technology. This course uh, covers basics of induction heating, induction equipment, computer simulation, magnetic flux control, theory and application, case stories, short history of induction, and glossary. Even if induction installation can be easy to use as a plug-and-play device, for this system design and better application results, we need to understand how induction heating works, what equipment is used for different applications, how to design optimal processes and induction coils, how to improve induction systems using magnetic flux controllers, and what results could be achieved in particular applications. The main emphasis in this course is placed on magnetic flux control in induction systems. Though use of induction heating may be very simple, induction technique is a complicated matter involving electrical, magnetic, and thermal phenomena. A unique feature of induction heating is that the heat intensity depends upon not only operating conditions but also upon properties of material to be heated and therefore it may vary during the heating cycle. It is important to know that magnetic flux controllers affect not only the coil parameters but improve operation of the whole installation. Induction technique has its own language, and you can use glossary for better understanding this language. Induction heating is based on fundamental works within the field of electromagnetism, thermodynamics, and material science in different countries. Knowledge of induction heating history shows the really dynamics of technology development. Some old ideas may be effectively implemented now due to new level of industrial demand, advanced materials, machines, and control systems. You can find a short history overview in a separate file. Advantages of induction heating are based on specific features of this method. Heat generation occurs inside the part, Heating is contactless. Method can provide very high powers and power densities. The heating may be selective. Any processing atmosphere may be used. Very high temperature may be created. Standby losses of equipment are very low. Fast start up of the machine. Heating may be easily programmed and automated. There is no contamination of treated material and no pollution of surrounding environment. Advantages of induction heating include short heating cycles and high production rates, better metallurgical results due to fast and clean heating, energy savings, good process control and repeatability, low surface oxidation and decarburization, low distortions, 
and favorable operation for industrial environment. Some processes may be accomplished only with induction. Major applications of induction heating, melting, forging and forming, heat treatment, tube and profile welding, brazing and soldering, shrink fitting, bonding and gluing, inductively coupled plasma, and crystal growth. Latest achievements in induction heating technique. Compact and efficient transistor power supplies for any required frequency. Intelligent control and monitoring systems. Simultaneous dual frequency hardening. Robotic induction installations. Computer simulation and CAD of induction systems. Last but not least, magnetic flux control techniques and materials.